Hey Leo, welcome and welcome back to Natural Tarot. These are my natural nails and this is Tarot I've been saying on every video before I get started. Like, if you resonate with this reading, like, share my channel, subscribe, comment. Don't You ain't got to tell me all your business. Just go ahead and drop a comment. I'd love to hear from you. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for being a guardian, a guide, a protector, a teacher, for knowing all, for seeing all. Thank you, angels, for always being around me, guiding me, loving me, supporting me, and protecting me. I greatly appreciate it. I ask that you bring Leo's energy completely into this reading so that I can convey the message as clearly as possible. Thank you in advance, Spirit. All right, what's for your, what's in your current energy, Leo? Current energy for Leo. Happiness. Magic. And flow. Passion. Okay, this looks like good energy, Leo. Let's see. Let's see. Happiness. Let's see, let's see, Leo. Why is happiness here? We have the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. So you may be in between uh, two decisions. Not, I don't know what they are about, what the decisions are about, but you're in between two, of the, two decisions. One of them good for you, one of them bad for you. One of them will make you very happy, and the other one you think will make you very happy. We have the Six of Pentacles for magic. And the Three of Swords. There's a wanting to create something out of nothing or um, even something in your life wanting to expand it or, or explore it or devote yourself to it. But it's from a pl place of uh, heartbreak. So like you're trying to create this, but it's from a place of heartbreak. Wise flow here. We have the Ten of Cups. Don't force it. Um, so the the decisions that you're in between, not forcing the decision, allowing it to flow, allowing things to reveal themselves. Okay. What's the blockages for Leo? That came out quick. But a lot of green showed up. But it was just too many cards. Comfort. Mm-hmm. Okay. I get it. So there's... What showed up? Nothing. Death. No more creating stuff from pain. You want to create from spaces that are... Or spirit wants you to create from spaces that are healed and, and abundant. There's magic all around you. All around you. We're going to go with this ideation card. These are your blockages. We have faith at the bottom of the deck. So um, one of these choices that you are uh, in between choosing... One of them feels very familiar to, to you and very comfortable. It's a choice that you may even have made before. Um, but it's the same, it's one of the same choices that 
made from this heartbreak. Like it, it will bring the same results. Okay, why is comfort here? The King of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So there's two uh, very different energies here. And this is why I say the choice, one of them is like a, a familiar with this King of Wands. One of them is a very familiar choice. And this is the other side of you, not wanting to <laughs> pursue that the way you've done things before or with that passion that you've done it before. It is like a real torn feeling. It's very torn with the, the chariot. You want to call in greatness. You want to call in abundance. But it's a very torn feeling with the decision that you have to make. Or want to make. We have the King of Pentacles. You may be... You may be kind of stubborn towards stubborn towards your intuition. So it's something that you know is true, but still feeling tempted with this King of Wands to to go with the familiar feeling because something about it you you want something from it you want something about it you are attracted to and feels like something you want but there's conflict there there's conflict there and you you may even be aware of this like knowing there's conflict there or knowing it's a familiar decision but wanting it so bad wanting to be in the comfort of familiar familiarity is, is that how you say it <laughs> all right ideation three of cups let's see there's just a new way to go about this there's a new way There's a new way to your happiness. There's a new way to your emotional fulfillment. You have to trust that there's a new way. Okay. Focus. Sadness. Success. Patience, Leo, patience. You will definitely need patience because you may be wanting to make the, that decision that's familiar to you. You may be wanting to make it because it's, it's the quick way to what you feel like you want. We have growth. This is in focus. Cleanse is at the bottom of the deck. Why is sadness here? We have the Eight of Swords. Fear. The decision that, familiar, that feels familiar to you, you feel like you'll miss out if you don't choose it. Why is success here? But that's, that's, it's not real. It's not real, Leo.
the Ace of Wands, and the Four of Cups. This is about not liking turning this decision down. But it's... it's <laughs> Look, you got free will, Leo. You get to do whatever you want, whenever you want, and however you want to do it. But this is about you not liking the fact that you may have to turn this, this familiar decision down. It comes with the um it comes with some form of discipline. Some form of discipline, some form of independence. Releasing lack. In some area of your life. Why is growth here? The king of swords. Decision making. Decision making. Being sure. Of the decisions that you're making. Making the decisions from. A space of growth. Making the decisions that. You know. Will grow you. Freeing yourself from whether it be internal or outer conflict. Energy coming towards Leo. What do we have coming towards Leo? Third eye chakra, baby. That third eye activation opening up. You being able to see clearly. Seeing where the happiness at. Where is that? We have the heartache and loss three of swords. So blue. A lot of emotions and intellect. Mental. A lot of thoughts. You, you've been in your head about this, Leo. And truth. Judgment. This is energy coming towards you. Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And I feel we need to get this one. Why is third eye here? Strength. Intuition is at the bottom of the deck, Leo. So you'll need strength to... Choose what is not familiar because it's it's a choice of a higher purpose, a choice of a higher calling. Why is the three of swords here? The three of swords is actually here twice in this column. Anger. So this is why you are so tempted to choose the familiar feeling is because you are not looking forward to how it's going to feel to not choose it. Because you felt it before. So like maybe you in the past have tried to go this other route. And you felt how it feel to not choose this particular decision. So you're not looking forward to how it's going to feel um, to not choose it. But what spirit is wanting you to do is transmute that, that anger into something else. Like you have to change that energy and uh, transform that energy into something else. We have anxiety at the bottom of the deck. You'll have to change this energy into something else. Make it create safe spaces for yourself. Know that you are safe on this journey. Know that you are safe in this growth. Um, truth, judgment. Why is it here, Leo? For Leo? I mean, spirit for Leo. Intuition. Look, hey. Spirit is tugging. Tugging. You know. You know. This is showing me that Leo, like you know, this is something from your past that you may have struggled with strength 
anger and intuition. You don't like the fact that you have to make this decision, but your intuition is telling you to judgment, uh, speaking to the past, ghost, speaking to the past. Your intuition, this is not the first time your intuition has told you to make um, the opposite decision or choose the opposite from what this uh this decision is like an attachment. So like choose the opposite of what this is. But you know, Leo, you know, you know. All right. Um, what advice do you have for Leo spirit? Guidance. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. So really like stepping outside of what you want, you know, um, stepping outside of what you want and stepping into what you need. a lot but you know what we're gonna go ahead and take all of them your path dear lord help me to trust that help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what i can see through my fears and illusions and remember we talked about um how you don't know what it looks like or you don't want to feel what it looks like to make the opposite choice to choose the opposite thing um spirit got your back leo sacrifice sometimes surrender is painful god's cutting away all that needs to go illusions obsessions addictions it's a sacrifice to love and usually that love is within um making that sacrifice will reveal to you your love for yourself um, which will allow you to show up loving or show love outside of yourself we also have awakening oh my lord wake me from life as spiritual sheep May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. Yes, Leo. So really just being guided. Um, because ultimately, choosing the familiar thing will bring about the familiar pain that comes with it. Or the familiar disappointment that comes with it. What major arcana do we have for Leo? We have the hermit, soul searching. The emperor stepping into your power, into control, discipline, having things in order. And the fool, having that faith, having that faith to get to your happiness, Leo. All right, Leo, that is all that I have for your reading. And until next time, come again.